Grab some silky fabric like polyester or silk, which is what I'm using here. Fold it in half to make a rectangle that is the length you want plus a few inches and the width to be at least as wide or wider as one of your boxiest tops. Mark around the top of the shoulders down to the length of the sleeves, which I made elbow length, making the sleeves wide and boxy like a rectangle. Mark the shirt pretty wide if you want. It's always good to overestimate. Honestly, if I had more fabric to work with, I would have made it a lot wider. You can always take it in later. Sew up the side seams and the shoulder seams right sides together. Serge the edges if you like. Try the top on again and see if there's anywhere you need to make adjustments. Cut notches into the armpit corner or serge the edges really close to the seam so the armpits don't bunch after you turn it right side out. Cut out two two inch strips that are the length of the sleeves opening when folded. Sew the short edges together, right sides together, to make a little tube. Fold it in half again and pin the edges of the folded tube to the edge of the sleeve opening, right sides together, and sew close to the edge. Fold the fabric inside the sleeve and pin it down, concealing the new band you just sewed previous. Then top stitch the sleeve band down three quarters of an inch in and right along the edge as well. Try the top on again and mark and cut where you want the new neckline to be, but make sure to add seam allowance. I did a simple rolled hem, which is folding under a quarter inch twice and sewing. But if you have enough material, which I did not, I would have loved to make a neckline facing, which would be preferable. I have a tutorial for neckline facing in my YouTube channel. Hem the bottom by folding under a quarter inch, then three quarters inch. Then sew three quarters of an inch from the bottom of the shirt. Then again, top stitch the edge of the bottom of the shirt, so then it matches the sleeve hem. Thanks for watching and subscribe and visit cottonandcurls.com for more DIYs.